pick up the camera. I wasn't planning on doing it today, but I actually had the day off work. It's currently Friday and I thought I would start the vlog off here this weekend. We have just got back from doing a food shop, hence why I've got my coat on. I am filling up a very empty looking jar of tea or lack of tea because I used the last tea bag last night and it was like the world was ending. So I am filling that up as we speak. Today's tasks are, I do have some content to get done this afternoon and then we are heading out for dinner uh, with some family, which I am looking forward to. But before I do all of that, I will be leaving the house probably in about half an hour's time to drive to our old town where we used to live because I am getting my hair done. It is officially a self-care Friday, which is my kind of Friday. I used to get my hair and my nails done all on the same day and have like a full on self-care day. But <laughs> because I'm trying to be a bit more careful with my money, sorry if you can hear James cutting things in the garden in the background, I will show you what he's been up to. Um, I now kind of stagger my nails, so I do my hair one month, nails the next month, hair nails, hair nails. Tea bags are done. I love these, by the way. I see them in a lot of people's houses now. They're actually from Dunelm. I don't have the coffee one just because we don't drink coffee and it would just be such a waste and it would take up space. But I've got the tea and the sugar ones and I don't think they were very expensive either, but I really like them with the little tags on and they fit a nice sort of country style kitchen. I did also, I've popped it in some water, I did also pick up a little pack of tulips for my hairdresser as well. They are a very, very pretty sort of pinky purpley color. And I think they'll look lovely in her salon. I thought it would just be a nice thing to take along with me just to say, I mean, obviously I know I'm paying her to do my hair, but <laughs> just because I think it would be nice and I think they would look nice in the salon. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff put away. We didn't do a huge food shop, to be honest. It was just a quick in and out, get what we need to get kind of thing. So I'm gonna get it packed away and then I'm sure I will catch up with you at some point later. Good morning, it is a new day. My little furry friend is sitting behind me. So please mummy, can I please have a little bit of your tea? <laughs> Aren't you? You love tea. I don't know why, he just has a thing about tea. Um, I am just finishing a nice warm mug. I don't know what the time is. Okay, it's nine o'clock, so it's not super early, but do I want to take my pajamas off? Absolutely not. I am feeling really tired today. I don't know why, but we're going to take this little one out for a stroll very, very shortly, basically as soon as I've got dressed. This is indeed a new mug <laughs> which was very naughty of me and I did not need to buy a new mug but I figured I don't have a mug like this I just thought it was really cute it's from Sainsbury's so I just picked it up when I popped to the supermarket and I really love the kind of ribbed I don't know if you can see the ribbed effect on it I just think it's gorgeous and I think it was about five pounds there's a smaller version like a little mini mug version which is four pounds um, or you can get this one for five pounds I love the big chunky handle I love kind of how big the mug is this is like a big cup of tea mug or like a hot chocolate mug I love it now as I mentioned yesterday I did get my hair done um, it's obviously just my uh, bed head hair at the moment so it kind of has like half a wave left but also this tends to be um, how it looks when it's just come out of my sleep bun basically so I'm not really going to do anything to it until we get back from our walk because it will just come out and there's not much point I think it is a little bit windy outside but yeah I did um, I did just get kind of the usual I just got highlights but I don't know how well you'll be able to see but I did just get it a little bit blonder she put a toner in it she put a treatment in it just to give it a bit of nice fresh sorry i'm looking in the mirror that's why i'm looking sideways a bit of nice fresh sort of spring summer blonde yeah that is that is 
I say the new hair, the fresh hair from yesterday, which was definitely needed. I really needed that appointment. The other thing I really wanted to show you guys, just whilst it was on my mind, because I've um, just done my skincare and a bit of makeup, is these little wristbands. Now, I might be a bit late to the game. I feel like a lot of people are well aware of these and I was really behind. But I posted these on my Instagram story and loads of people messaged me like, oh my goodness, that's just changed my life. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like I have an obligation to share and they're so cheap as well. So I bought these for my skincare. One thing in life that I just, I really have this thing about it. I absolutely flipping hate it is when I'm doing my skincare and the water starts to like roll down my wrist and down my arm. I just, I hate the feeling of it. It drives me insane. And I end up like trying to go like this, like rubbing my arms together, trying to rub my wrist on a towel whilst I've got my cleanser, which is not cheap all over my hands. So basically, it's just to catch all the drips and it sounds really simple but these have actually these have changed everything for me you can get them from amazon i'll see if i can find a link to a nice cheap pair because you do not need to spend much on these at all and i will link some in the description box below but i just i just feel like when something this life changing is discovered i can't not share it with you it would be criminal for me not to tell you about it so <laughs> i had to tell you i'm going to stop rambling i'm going to get dressed i'm going to quickly finish the dribble that is left in my mug of tea and then we will head out for i'm thinking a very much needed morning walk i have gone for ultimate comfort <laughs> and winter this morning because this is all i need i'm currently rocking the uh very fancy socks and slippers combo because how could you not these are my <laughs> these are my welly socks and i'm going to throw it over a scarf and put on my very cozy toasty sleeping bag coat as i call it let's go and wrap up there's a very, very desperate doggy here who wants to go out, don't you? You want to go out and explore. So, let's get going. Come on, little bumblebee. So a few hours have passed since I last spoke to you, which wasn't really the plan, but you know when you just get started on something and then hours fly by and you just think what have I even been doing? I've been filming my bits for Instagram, I had a reel that I needed to make and I needed to get it done today whilst I had the time and whilst I had the energy so I did sort my hair out but it involved getting changed many many times and putting loads of different outfits on so it's basically looking back to how it was this morning which is a little bit of a mess but we're gonna go with it. I've got that done, I've got that scheduled. I'm going to make some lunch, and I also thought whilst I am heading downstairs, um, sorry, it's just got really, really dark. Whilst I'm heading downstairs, I'm gonna show you what James has been up to in the kitchen. There's honestly so much I need to show you that he's been up to. So basically, I feel like I should give you a, a little bit of a life update, to be honest. So basically, long story short, um, James is in the middle of changing his job at the moment. Um, so he's had all sorts going on. We've been really busy. That's kind of why we haven't been able to have Ronnie as well. There's just been all sorts to figure out. Um, but at the moment he is basically on, um, I think it's called gardening leave or garden leave essentially, which ironically he has spent all of it so far in the garden. <laughs> he's obviously done the planters, which you would have seen last week. Um, but he's also been working on a new sort of barbecue area for the garden let me just spin you around so this is what he's been up to i don't know how well you'll be able to see because it's too cold and i've got my slippers on i don't want to go outside but basically he's made something similar to what he had before but much more sturdy and much kind of better made as he put it so everything's straight everything's strong maybe if i come to this window you'll be able to see oh i got myself some tulips yesterday <gasps> i feel so springy so yeah there we go that's probably a good view so as you can see 
he's kept kind of similar compartments to what we had last time and he's got the shelving he's got the barbecue in the middle the pizza oven is on the top as well so all he needs to do now is either paint it or treat it um, decide what he wants to do in terms of the wood itself so that the wood doesn't kind of go a bit gross um, but yeah that's one thing that he's been working on so he did that in a couple of days he is honestly you give him a few pallets and some power tools and he will make anything out of it he is so clever like that okay can anyone hazard a guess as to what i have decided to get done today <laughs> any guesses at all those who have been around for a little while may know exactly what is about to happen because it happened not that long ago but i've decided that today is the day my name is lindsay and i have an obsession with faux flowers i feel like i need to put that out there <laughs> i have a real problem but i'm sure i'm not the only person in the world i just can't help it and this is one of my favourite things to do ever. I find doing this so much fun. It, don't get me wrong, it takes me a little while to kind of, you know, psych myself up to do this because I've got to be feeling a bit creative. I've got to be in the right mood. I've got to kind of have a bit of an idea as to what my plan's going to be before I just start tackling this. However, as much as I love the autumn arrangements, I think the spring kind of spring summer arrangements are my favorite i know that we are still quite early on in feb but i just think if you want to do it then just do it like <laughs> don't let the date of the year stop you like who cares you do what you want to do so i've just decided i'm going to do my seasonal switch over today that does not mean that the easter bunnies are going to start coming down from the loft we're not going to go into that just yet i'm probably going to do that maybe like the end of Feb, early March, because I know Easter does fall in March this year. But for the time being, I just want to change over my arrangements. I just, I don't want any of this like mistletoe, winter berries thing going on. I'm kind of just over that now. And I want a bit of warmth in the house, a bit of colour in the house. And yeah, I just, I want a bit of a reset. I have pulled out, as you will be able to see, basically every vase in my house so you've got things from the vase that goes in the downstairs toilet that you only see if you need to go to the toilet to the little vase that sits in the study to the ones that go on sideboards the one that goes on the kitchen table obviously i've got the one up here as well so what i think i'm gonna do it's kind of ironic that i'm doing this like wearing quite a festive looking jumper we're gonna we're gonna call it a winter jumper okay we're not gonna call it a christmas jumper so i think what i'll probably do is put you on a bit of a time lapse i'll drop in every now and again once i've created a bouquet it often takes me a few attempts to do so um but yeah let's let's get cracking Okay, <laughs> oh my back. So we'll call this bag the autumn winter collection, I think. This has basically got my autumnal stems, a few of the kind of Christmassy stems that I know I definitely am not going to use. This is how we're looking. So over on this side, I've basically put all of my greenery, all of my foliage, because I think you can never ever have enough of this. Now this section here is actually a bouquet or an arrangement that I bought from the White Company probably a couple of years ago now. And what I tend to do over the course of the year is basically just take it apart. So over autumn and winter, I took out all of these blossom stems and basically used 
used all of the green foliage to create a more wintry bouquet but I think I'll put that together again now and maybe and maybe keep that in the study because I had it in there before and it did look really nice then on this side <laughs> this is a this is a little bit of a, a mess to be honest so this is a combination of some pre-made small arrangements some blossom stems, various different flowers. Got some tulips as well. So I've got the small tulip arrangement. And then I've also got the, I think these are called parrot tulips from Neptune, um, which I have six of. Oh my gosh, there's even more tulips there. I didn't even realize I had those. So yeah, that's the situation here. Obviously my wreath is gonna go over the guest bedroom door. So I'll get that sorted separately. Now the task is to try and find a way to arrange them in the vases that I have. This bouquet is definitely a wild one. Oh my goodness, look at that. I love this arrangement. I'm very sorry to say you definitely can't get it anymore um, on the white company, but they do quite often reduce their arrangements. So always do keep an eye out on their website for some of these beautiful pieces. I think I ended up getting this for about 24 pounds or something crazy like that but it is jam packed full of absolutely beautiful wild stems. You can see just how much it transforms that corner of the room. It, oh, I just, I love it. I think it is my favorite arrangement that I have. Like I just, I completely love it. And I don't even think it's supposed to kind of look that wild in general. I need to get rid of the snowflake. <laughs> the snowflake lights on the ladder but yeah I just try and make it look as wild as possible and I think in a vase like that it just gives you this like explosion of foliage so I'm a big fan of that one fingers crossed start as we mean to go on so clear a lot as I need to see the horizon and the far excuses were too for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face A little puppy has come to join us A little puppy has come to say hello So, let me show you where I'm up to <laughs> How far I've got I think I have done quite well I'm not completely finished yet But you obviously have the bouquet up here which I've already showed you I've then created this one on here, which I'm thinking is going to be for the guest bedroom. Then I tried to keep it nice and simple with this one here, partly because um, I ran out of foliage, but partly because I think it's just as effective. So I've put two of these snap, Sneptune? <laughs> Neptune snowball stems into the vase in here, which I'm going to put into the living room on the console table. You've then got the kitchen arrangement in the vase here, so I've just kept it nice and simple with my parrot tulips, some more tulips in this little vase, more of a kind of rustic, dusky pink arrangement in there. And then in the vase that I had before, I've actually just kept it the same because I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I think, why touch it if it's not broken? This pillow needs to go. <laughs> I'm very quickly running out of daylight, hence why I've now got the light on in the room. Um, so I may have to pick this up tomorrow and just finish the rest of the bits off. But I thought I'd show you how it's looking, how it's going. I'm quite pleased with this. I feel like I've made really good progress. I can tick this off my list now and I just need to get them put into place. Good morning. I feel like my vlogging this weekend has just been really rubbish. <laughs> it may or may not seem like that to you, but honestly, I told myself I was gonna spend a day and like vlog a full day and I've now failed that twice. So yeah, apologies if this is a bit uh, a bit mishmash. I think I might have warned you about that at the start. <laughs> but anyway, it is now Sunday. We have had a very slow start to the morning. 
we had a nice lion. This one is still attempting to have a lion so that he doesn't have to go out in the rainy weather. Um, but yeah, honestly, I got pretty much all of my arrangements done yesterday and then just ran out of daylight. And I wanted to kind of show you where I'd put them, the finished looks. I changed a couple of bits around as well, but it just got so dark and... I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pick the camera up again tomorrow and show you properly when I've got some daylight. So I'll show you room to room kind of what I've put where, how I've styled things. We are about to head out on probably a slightly rainy walk. I was going to put my hair up, but I've decided I'm just going to leave it down. I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to put a hat on. Then I'm going to put a hood on and I'm just going to embrace the rainy weather. You can see I've got like one of my winter jumpers on today. This is quite an old um H&M jumper. I've like folded it inwards rather than outwards because I just prefer the look and it feels more comfortable um but yeah i just i wanted to go for cozy today i've got my leggings on i've got the good old slips slips i've got the good old socks and slippers uh combo on ready to put my wellies on um and then yeah we're gonna we're gonna go out for a quick stroll we are going to i want to pop to the waitrose farm today which is in stockbridge because i've decided for um, the planters, I mean, last week's video is actually going up today, so I may change my mind after I've said this by the time you guys have seen the planters and you've maybe given me some inspiration as to what to put in them. But definitely in one of them, I want to get some of those wildflower seed balls. You can get different kind of colour varieties. You can get ones for bees, for butterflies, for shade, for sun. The front of our house is south facing, so it's definitely going to get a lot of sun, which I think is a good thing. I just thought, how lovely would it be to just have like loads of wildflowers in there, like different colours, different varieties, different shapes, different sizes. I think just having like a big wild almost like a burst of colour would just be really nice especially over summer and if we can attract bees and butterflies then that's even better so I think I'm going to get some of those today because I just thought whilst I've got a bit of time I'm going to go and do it because my next few weekends are a bit busier so yeah that's on the plan for today before I make James wait for me any longer, let me quickly turn you around and just show you what's going on in this bedroom in terms of the arrangements I made, and then we'll head out for our walk. So as I said yesterday, this one I've very much kept the same. I've just kept my eucalyptus stems in here. I guess it maybe does look a little bit to me but I think at least for spring I can get away with it and yeah I really like how it looks and I like how it kind of goes with this cushion as well. Over on this side I've basically switched this one up and I've got a combination of my pittosporum stems and then also these. I'm actually not sure what these are. They don't look like ranunculus if that's how you say it they're definitely not roses i'm actually not sure someone tell me what kind of flower this is supposed to be but anyway literally i've gone with a combination of those two stems and i think it creates a really nice almost like vintagey sort of colored um arrangement and i love it there the only thing that's um making me feel a bit odd is i'm just not sure how well it goes with this print because the print is quite pinky i don't know am i looking too much into it and it's fine or is there something a little bit off? I do think eventually as well, I want to get one that is a little bit more wild, that has a bit more height to it, because I just feel like it could take it. I feel like everything's been condensed down a little bit, and I do need to take up a bit of space on here. The other option is some kind of like mirror thing, but I think I just want to keep it nice and simple with a bouquet. So yeah, let me know what you think about this, because I'm just a little bit torn. What a wet and windy and miserable day it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm glad I did not do anything with my hair today. The walk is done. Ronnie is inside drying off. We are going to head to the Waitrose Farm. And then there's also something that I've seen in B&M as well, which I really want to grab. So I'll go and have a look in there. I am feeling, I'm feeling very like windswept. But anyway, we will head off and see what we can find.
we are back i am so cold <laughs> i'm absolutely freezing i did find the seed balls that i wanted so these are the ones that i was after that i knew i'd seen in the garden center so i think the brand is just called seed ball i went for the butterfly mix which is forget me not red campion yarrow purple loose trife and musk mellow i have not heard of some of these so i am going to search them up but i did notice that they all had like different flowers around the outside so i'm guessing they all look a little bit like this and i, I think they are all kind of bluey and purpley in color but basically what does it say scatter on bare soil or in a pot leaving 10 centimeters between balls and then it's got basically the calendar down on here of when you can scatter them and when they'll flower as well it does say february for when you can scatter them so i'll maybe give it like a week or two what i think i might do is scatter them in one planter i know that that might mean that the other one i have to leave empty for a bit longer who has got that really loud car outside <laughs> but that's fine because i just want to test it and i don't want to fill it with fill it with these and then regret it so yeah it came with a little leaflet as well yeah so scatter onto bare soil or compost they germinate inside the ball they start to sprout the ball breaks down and then you get your flowers each type of wildflower takes a different length of time to come into flower da -da 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 -da. yeah I'm excited i'm excited to just give these a try now the other thing i wanted which is why i wanted to go to b m was i actually saw this on mrs hinch's instagram on her stories and i basically wanted it for the bathroom and the reason i like it is because not only can you use it to kind of store your toilet rolls and things but it's also tall enough that you can store all of your sort of bathroom cleaning stuff upright and actually store quite a lot of stuff so for example we also bought some bleach <laughs> and you can literally store this completely upright alongside your bathroom cleaner your shower spray whatever else you want to store in here your bath salts you can put in here i need to kind of decide where to put it but they'll be they'll be somewhere and then the other thing that i got which i've put inside here which I don't know if I haven't seen it just because I'm not quite up to date with what's going on with uh, with my cleaning products and I've kind of fallen out of it a bit, but I haven't seen this. It does say limited edition, but it is a Zaflora scent and I have run out of my um, like concentrated Zaflora disinfectant and it says limited edition and it's tulip and peach blossom. How springy does that make you feel? oh my gosh oh it just smells like flowers it smells so summery it's really floral oh i love that i'm gonna have to use that today i'm gonna find an excuse and i'm gonna use it today i thought i would just resume showing you as i promised earlier where i've put the rest of the arrangements in the house so this one the guest bedroom is looking a little bit messy at the moment so i'm not going to zoom out too much but this one is in my vase that i got from sainsbury's in the habitat range and it's got this really really gorgeous like floral detail on i did get this last year but i have seen that they have got it back in sainsbury's so if you are after it you may well be able to find it and this is kind of a combination of i think a bunch of greenery which i got from ikea and then i also think these are from ikea as well um and, and also this <laughs> actually i think this entire arrangement is from ikea so definitely go and have a look in ikea if you're after some nice foliage because they actually have some really nice bits whilst i'm in here as well i will say thank you so so much to everyone who commented on the last video about my floor lamp i am super super pleased with it and i'm so glad that you all like it as well it's still looking fabulous it's still got that really really lovely rustic wood effect it's completely dried now and it is just perfect for this corner of the room i'm honestly so pleased with it this corner of the study is where i've put the little arrangement that's got the little pink a few pink bits in these are actually from hobbycraft and they're beautiful now i obviously need to change out the winter candle and i think i might change the cushion to something a bit lighter just because it does feel a bit autumnal in here
This I love. I'm not going to spend too long showing you because I've just interrupted James, pl um, not playing football, watching football. But the faux tulips that I got from Home Sense, the little bunch that you might have seen in my haul video, I knew would look perfect in this little vase that James got me a little while ago from H&M. How summery does it look on the media unit? Minus the football. <laughs> and I've changed out my... Um, I think it was a green or like a dark red Neptune candle that I had and I've changed it for the rhubarb colour which I think ties in with the tulips perfectly and just looks so pretty up there. This side of the room is still obviously looking a bit empty until we get the wall done but this is where I've put the little snowball arrangement with my snowballs from Neptune that I got for Christmas. Nice and simple and I've swapped out the winter cushions that I spotted yesterday for my H m cushion covers so i've got one down here and then i've also got one in the snug upstairs as well i am feeling a bit tired to be honest with you <laughs> i'm feeling like i need to have a bit of self-care tonight i think tonight might be the night where i have a nice bath i have i can feel like a bit of a headache coming on so i am going to go and get a big glass of water and have that and i have been staring at my laptop screen for a while which probably doesn't help but i think i might go and do that and just have a nice chilled evening we've got a lovely dinner planned this evening and also i thought because it is getting quite close to pancake day we could get the crepe 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 machine um out from the cupboard because we have not used it in ages and ages and ages and make some nice like pancakes slash crepes because i flip and love pancake day and i always forget about it every year and i know that this year especially it's literally the day before valentine's day i think it's um tuesday the 13th which will basically be in about two days potentially when you're watching this so here is your reminder to get your pancake ingredients i'm gonna go and get some cozy pajamas on i think actually i might go and have a bath now to be honest <laughs> i kind of feel like it i might have a nice evening bath before dinner i'll go and do that i'll put my pajamas on then it will be dinner time and i'm sure i will catch up with you after that relaxing to start off with um i kind of got in like halfway of it being filled up excuse my hair this bit doesn't really know what it wants to do right now and then it turned out the hot water had not been on and it was coming out freezing cold i was kind of laying there and my top half was really warm and i was like why are my feet getting so cold <laughs> It turns out it's because there was freezing cold water running into the bath. Um, so it didn't stay warm for very long. Apologies. Had to go and let Ronnie out. <laughs> to go to the toilet. Anyway, we are very, very quickly approaching darkness. Hopefully the light in here is okay. I have... You don't even want to know what I've propped you up on, honestly. Let me just show you the situation. This is what you're currently propped up on. A candlestick and a book <laughs> but the reason i picked up the camera in my pajamas looking a little bit disheveled is because i was gonna say the hermes driver came but the every driver as it is now called arrived with a parcel and 
I've been really excited for this one. So H&M did a sale uh, a few days ago, I think it finished and I think it was like 15% off or 20% off for members. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna have a little browse at their new inn because I haven't seen the new arrivals like recently. So I had a little browse and one of the first things that I came across was um, from memory. I'm trying to remember exactly what it looked like. But it was basically like um, a cardigan jacket type thing, but it was in the most beautiful, beautiful like green colour. And I thought, oh my gosh, because there'd been one from Zara that I'd seen. I think it was on like someone's TikTok or something and it was sold out. I couldn't find it anywhere and I was gutted. And this is the closest that I found to it. And then obviously, obviously, they had different colours. And there was a white one and I loved it just as much. So I had to get both. Okay, so the white one isn't actually white. It's like a creamy cream <laughs> colour. It's not actually white. But this is basically what we are looking at. And this is the green. Hopefully, as I said, hopefully it shows up well on camera. It's like this really, really nice, like earthy olive green. Again, it might not suit me. It might look really dreadful, but I thought I'm gonna have to try it. Let's look at the green first. This is kind of the most risky, but this is the reason that I made the purchase. And it might look really silly. It might be too cropped. The shape might not work on me but I am just dying to give it a go. Oh wow, that is quite short. That's shorter than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> this is what we're looking at. I mean, the color is just stunning. I am in love with this color. How expensive does this look as well? And may I say, sorry, my head is cut out. May I say, these were 20 something pounds. I think within the sale, I think they were 23 pounds each but I think full price, they were like 24 99 or something. These are an amazing price. Let me whiz this pajama top off because I've got one of my Adenola like sports bra things on underneath. So I think I'm just gonna try it over that. Okay, I thought I'd make an effort. <laughs> so I've put on kind of like some smart black trousers, just some sort of plain cigarette style, high-waisted trousers. These are very, very similar to the Zara version, but they're actually from Stradivarius. And they're cheaper, which I love. And actually, they don't bobble as well. So far, may I say. Okay, I'm going to undo the top button. And let's see how this looks. It's quite short. That's the bit that I'm concerned about here. Okay, the sleeves are a good length. Oh. Okay. This is quite a nice length. Do you know, I'm kind of liking this. I'm just gonna look in the mirror to my side as well so that I can see at the same time as you. Oh, I actually quite like this. I think with the right outfit, I mean, this could be the right outfit if I just accessorized it up, found the right shoes, took my hair down, you know, did my hair, made it work. This could be good. But I am going to have a look at the cream version as well because I think this could be just as beautiful. Once again, the length is quite nice. Let me just uh, do it up because I feel like the contrast with the white is making it look a bit yellow and I'm not really here for that. Okay, what do we think? What do we think about the cream version? I do think it's cute though. I think I am definitely gonna keep the green because I just haven't found anything this color and it's really, really gorgeous. And I think you could dress this up and you could dress it down. But the white version or the cream version, I'm a bit undecided. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you think. It is officially pancake time slash crepe time. Crepe time? Crepe time? Crepe. How do you say it? Crepe. Is it not crepe? It's crepe, no, isn't it? Crepe's what you've got on your feet. C crepe? No, it's not. What's a crepe? What's a crepe shoe? It's not your crepe, isn't it? Oh, is it? We have, unfortunately, not very much Nutella. So we're having to improvise on the second one with <laughs> some chocolate chips. I mean, my one's gonna have. Yours is gonna have chocolate chips and mine's gonna have Nutella. Yeah, I think that is the last. <laughs> Make it and then get your worst 
<laughs> Ron, what are you licking James's legs for? What are you licking James's legs for? Have you not had a bath today? <laughs> Have you not showered today? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you being so gross? Yum. <laughs> oh, we're doing the double fold. Well, yeah, obviously. Going for the double fold. Do it by Ooh! I need a plate, don't I? I could just eat it off it. That will do. Thank you, Chef. Yum. Happy early pancake day. I am snuggled up on the sofa with my favourite blanket and my crepe and I think, what are we going to watch this evening? We've been watching The Good Doctor, which is kind of like a nice sort of easy watch kind of thing if you want to kind of like just sit on your phone and have some TV on in the background. Um, and then we also, last night, we started watching on Prime. <laughs> No, Ron, what? He's really not happy. What's up? What's the matter? He goes up there when he's nervous. I think yeah, I think he can hear something that we can't hear. Something's something's making him nervous, and I think he can hear something that we can't, and I don't know what it is. He just wants me all the time. Aww. You want cuddles? Yeah, anyway, um... We started watching, uh, I think it's called Reacher on uh, Prime. We started the first series and yeah, we're, we're getting quite into that. So we are going to probably watch that now as well. But yeah, I thought this would be a good way to finish up the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Enjoy the rest of your week or the rest of your weekend whenever you are watching this. Enjoy your pancake day. Enjoy your Valentine's Day or Galentine's Day or your standard Wednesday if you're just going to celebrate Wednesday being the 14th of February. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.